Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. This weekend I stopped off at Walmart looking to see what was new on the shelves, hoping to find some Topps Holiday. I'd also heard that the hanger boxes were out of Topps Update. And here is what I found at this freshly stocked Walmart. They had a bunch of Topps Holiday boxes. You can see it looks like somebody already grabbed four of them there, but I'll grab a couple of those. And all together we're gonna spend a little over $200 in this video. And uh, we're gonna open up a whole bunch of boxes. So we got the brand new Topps Holiday, and then these are new as well. It is 2023 Topps Update. And we'll talk a little bit about these. We'll see if they're any good, are they worth it? You can probably notice right off the bat that they cut the number of cards in those as well. And here's what else is on the shelves. You can take a look and see if there's anything that you see out there. We got the Bowman Platinum Mega Boxes and Blaster Boxes back again. Prism Baseball, Monster Boxes, those have just been kind of sitting there. No one's really touching those. And then a whole bunch of football and basketball I just kind of show those just so I, I don't know much about those sports, but I figure if you see them, you know they're out there, if that's your cup of tea. The select blasters that you saw right there, those are new, we'll pick some of those up. So all together we'll spend over 200 bucks and we'll go ahead and see what we can find in these boxes. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button. Also join us tonight for next live auction. And uh, let's go ahead and get started right now. All right, everybody, I'm back from Walmart and looking forward to opening some of this stuff here. We've never before featured these hanger boxes just out this weekend. As expected, they've cut cards from the hanger boxes as well with Topps Update. So every single configuration loses cards with Update except for the jumbo boxes. We'll talk a little bit about that. But first, let's go ahead and bring in Mizzy, who sponsored this video. And we'll start off with Topps Holiday since that is fresh on the shelves Right now, there's one relic or autograph per box. There's also short prints sprinkled in these boxes. And I just put the face, not face off, but the Team Break Tuesday. Coming up Tuesday, we have a round or two of holiday. We've got a Costco round. We've got update rounds, finest flashback rounds. So if you'd like to participate in our Halloween Team Breaks, head on over to Patreon. You can sign up there. It's $4 a month. And uh, if you're not going to sign up, well, we'd still love to have you along to watch. We've got a Freddie Freeman box topper there. Let's see what we can find. 100 cards in the Topps holiday set. So it's nice to see that this product has not been hit by the uh, shrinkflation that has hit update. It was 100 cards last year and all the years before, and it's still that today. 10 packs, 10 cards. Let's hope we can find some good stuff. And also, if you just pick up a couple of these boxes... Well, you can maybe put this, a set together, which is, this is a pretty popular product out there, and it guarantees you a relic. Now, even though they didn't cut cards, they did raise the price of these boxes. They are $30 a box. Last year, they were $25. So I guess even though they didn't cut cards, you're still getting hit a little bit there on the price point. Now, these we have to keep a close eye on because the short prints are not flipped upside down. So... Got to keep an eye out and see what we've got going on. Metallic Snowflake of Key Brian Hayes. There's a short print in one in every seven packs. So typically, you're going to find at least one. And sometimes it can just be a subtle airbrushed belt buckle or a candy cane bat. There's a Matt Olson. That is a Metallic Snowflake. Gabby Moreno, nice in the World Series now. It's all tied up 1-1 in the World Series. They're off today. There we go. It is a Joey Votto. It is a 514, which just means it's a regular short print. There's those little codes at the very bottom of the card. If it ends in 514, it's a regular short print. 515 is an ultra rare short print. And uh, 516 is a super, super short print. Let's see if we can find anything else in here. Getting towards... The Relic, I think it's going to be a Relic. I thought I saw a thick stock card coming out, and you can see it right there. It is, yet again, another Relic. Also, keeping an eye out for the San Archives, which is a rare hit. Ezekiel Tovar is going to be the hit for the Colorado Rockies. And the Volpe's in there. And we'll see you. There's another one, Aaron Judge, with the Christmas hat on. It's a 514 regular short print right there. So a couple short prints in the box. Spencer Strider with his gold cup. And that will conclude the first box of Holiday. Let's go ahead and check out Select. We'll get back to the other box of Holiday. This is brand new. Now, in previous years, I feel like Select was $35 a box from Panini. They have rolled that back to 25 
I'd like to see this even less than that. I'd like to see it at 1999 again like it was a few years ago. But there is uh, four cards per pack and three packs. There's only 12 cards. It's a very light box. You can see Bobby Witt Jr. somehow is on the cover of the box. I don't know how they got away with that. Like, I'm starting to think, is Bobby Witt Jr. not in the Players Association? How are they able to use his image on this box? As you know, Panini is not allowed to use any MLB logos, and they're not also allowed to use any players' images because they do not have a license with the Players Association or the MLB. But somehow, Bobby Witt Jr. has uh, been loopholed into being allowed. I'm surprised they don't put a Bobby Witt Jr. in every single pack. You'll see some players that have appeared in the big leagues in this product, maybe like midway through 2023, like Ellie De La Cruz. There'll be older players and there'll be prospects, and that is pretty much it. Let's see if we can get a hit out of this for Mizzy. $25 for the box. Let's see what we can find. It says, look for a variety of Blaster exclusive parallels on the box. We'll see if we can find any of those parallels in here. There's Hunter Brown to get us started and Luis Gonzalez. Looks like we're going to see some color coming up, which it's nice. We've got Chief Myers, and it looks like these oranges will be... Blaster exclusives, Kumar Rocker, Frank Thomas, another orange, Maglia Ordonia is right there. And we have a hit, Pete Crow Armstrong. All right, I'm telling you, they should probably put one of these in every single box just to get some sales. Pete Crow Armstrong, rookie, and I'm not a big fan of them putting rookie logos on all these prospects that have never been in the big leagues before, but there we go, rookie patch, and here we go with this next one. I first noticed that when they're putting like rookie logos on Drew Jones relics. Let's check this other one out, and then we'll get back to holiday, then into update with lots of parallels. And Halloween night will be live, Team Break Tuesday, after all the kids are done trick-or-treating. We'll go live probably about, I don't know, 8, 30 to 9 o'clock. And we'll be looking for some Halloween parallels. I've got a couple blast rounds. I've got holiday. I've got bonus flashback. I've got tier one. Got the Costco boxes. This should be fun. Here we go with this next one. And the big complaint and gripe about Panini blasters in general is usually you might open a box of these and get maybe $3 worth of cards. And unfortunately, this box is a good example of that. You get some parallels, but are they really worth all that much? Probably not. So that's why people kind of stay away from select boxes and prison boxes and re you know any kind of Panini boxes in general. I'm not running out to buy them. I will buy them in these Walmart videos when they're brand new just to show you in case they're you know, something somebody wants to just see what is inside. Let's do the other box now of holiday. We've got an Adley Rushman little ornament right there. And we'll see what we can find in this one. Then we'll get into the tops update. We've got a bunch of tops update in this round. Two blaster boxes and four hanger boxes. I'm pretty curious to see if the hanger boxes are worth it. I was not happy when I went to the checkout for the hanger boxes and I rang them up. I'll tell you why in a second. But busy, let's see what we can find here with these. Good luck to you. And let's hope that we can finally get an autograph out of Tops Holiday. This is now, what, eight boxes of this that I've opened? One in 30 boxes has an auto. And do we have it? Or is that a relic? We'll, we'll see. There's Corbin Carroll, rookie card. That's a decent one. Ronald Acuna Jr., Johnny Brito, Metallic Snowflake. Those are roughly one in every other pack. Logan O'Hoppy, rookie card. Juan Soto right there. There's Gunnar Henderson, the snowflakes flying in the background. Still haven't found an Otani short print yet. They've got to exist. They will find some on Tuesday in the live stream because there's, we're going to be opening, I think, at least 30 boxes of this on Tuesday night. There's a short print. It's going to be Tristan Casas, and that is going to be a just a regular short print, one in every seven packs for Mizzy. Pete Alonso right there as well. And a nice one here. It is a Josh Young metallic snowflake parallel josh young playing in the world series we'll see if the world you know the texas rangers can win the world series it would be their first ever world series win so that would be kind of big for them adley rushman right there diamondbacks have won before they won in 2001 in a very very kind of iconic ending marion rivera on the mound blowing the save with a little bloop off the bat of luis gonzalez over the head of a drawn in infield of Derek jeter there's andrew vaughn so there's another relic one of these days, we'll find an autograph from one of these holiday boxes. Probably on Tuesday night, that's the hope. We'll check the rest of these out. Jordan Walker, 
And now it's time to get into update. These are brand new. They just hit the shelves this weekend. It's the first time I've seen them. They are the hanger boxes of update. So previously we've seen them cut 96 cards from the hobby boxes as they've dropped the packs from 24 to 20. And the cards were packed from 14 to I think 12. And in these, the blaster boxes, they did a number on the total number of cards too. Previously it was 99 cards. Now it's 87, so you lost out on, what, 12 cards. Although I'm not, uh, I'm not disappointed with the blaster boxes. They give, you, they give you a bunch of parallels in these. On average, about seven parallels per box. So these are actually, I think these are fantastic, the blasters. And they kept the price point the same. Now the hanger boxes, you know, first impressions on this, the cards have dropped from 67 cards to 59. So they cut you, what, eight cards per box. And also the price seems to have gone up. It was $14 per um, hanger box. I feel like previously, what were they, $12.99? A few years ago, they were $9.99 for a blaster. I think last year they were $12.99. So I'd have to go back and check my you know retail reviews of this, but I'm almost positive they were $12.99 last year. I think these were $9.99 even at Target last year, right, for a hanger box. But $14 for a hanger? What are we doing here? Um, so it used to be that two hangers would equal the amount of a uh, a blaster box. Now that's not really the case anymore. It's a little more. You, I mean, you still could buy two hangers. It'll get you 108 total cards. So you get a couple extra cards for a couple extra bucks. But is it worth it? Let's find out. We're going to open four of these. We'll see how many parallels we get from each of these and see if it's any good. Now the Halloween parallels are exclusive to blaster boxes. So I'm not expecting to see any of those. Here's our little pack. And uh, let's see what we get. All the good stuff will be in the middle. So all the parallels will be found there. I can already see that we're going to have one of those blue foils. So a numbered card off the bat for Mizzy. We'll go through the base cards. Again, the base card set in Update is pretty weak. I mean, you do have some of the nice rookies from Series 1 and Series 2 as rookie debuts. So here we go. Let's see what we've got. That blue is going to be Miguel Castro, so there's one parallel. They give you a whole bunch of stars of MLB cards. Man, four of those. And that was, man, that was the only parallel that you get? All right. I, first, uh, first impression is I would never buy one of these, ever. Um, I think that, uh, that just goes to show you these are awful. But, okay, let's go on to the next one. There's still three of them to open. I mean, if, if why, why would you do that? Why would you buy a hanger box for 14 when you can buy a blast for 25 and get seven parallels? Usually two or three of them being numbered cards. Here's the next one. This is hanger box number two. I bought four because I was like, let's just get a you know big enough sample size. I feel like four is probably a big enough sample size to know what you get. All right, so Anthony Volpe, Brett Beatty, rookie debut cards are in there. Base cards, and here comes the stuff in the middle. Another numbered card. It's going to be Trevor May. So it's a nice purple parallel, numbered to $7.99. Jose Leclerc, Royal Blue. And All right, so now there's three. So that's, that's a bit better. That first box, man, that was rough. I'm glad I just didn't buy one. So we have three parallels in the next box. Not too shabby. That's uh, it's probably about what I was expecting. Corbin Carroll and Grayson Rodriguez. Rookie debut cards in there. And on to the next box for Mizzy. Next hanger box. I'm still not a big fan of the $14 price tag. I'm going to have to see if I can find these at Walmart. Or not Walmart, but Target. See if they're still $9.99 at Target. Because I feel like Target has really resisted the price increases. And that would be something if these are just 10 bucks at Target. I'd be going there all day, every day, if I wanted to get some hanger boxes. So let me know if you found these at Target and what the price point is going to be. Here's our next round. We've got a Bobby, not Bobby Miller, but Tristan Casas red. Nice one right there. Tristan Casas out of 199 and a royal blue. Right there as well. i got to take the Stars of MLB hit right there, which is about the equivalent of four hobby packs. To give you one per hobby pack, I guess, if you think about it. And not hobby pack, but retail pack. The amount of cards in here is about the uh, amount of four retail packs. So two in that one. We have one, three, and two as the number of parallels. Here's the last box for Mizzy. And then we'll finish things off with the blasters, and you'll just see how much better the blasters are than the hanger boxes. Looks like we have maybe a parallel. And do we have an, we have an autograph in here? Wow. There's going to be a star of MLB autograph coming up. So... 
Let's see who it's going to be. A rookie auto here. It is going to be. There's a numbered out of 799 Brandon Williams, and it's a Logan Allen. So very nice right there. I don't know what the odds are of finding an autograph in a hanger box because they don't put the odds on the boxes anymore, so I can't just flip it over and see. Then here's our stars of MLB, one of them being a Michael Bush Chrome card. We actually get five of those in there. And so an autograph and one parallel. So on average, you're probably looking at two parallels per hanger box. And uh, again, I would, just from what I've seen so far, despite the autograph, I would advise you not buy the hanger boxes and to buy these. Let's check these out from Izzy. In case you've never seen the hanger boxes before, we've opened a bunch of them on the channel. And on average, there are seven parallels per box. We've had, I think the lowest we ever had, and I've probably opened like, I don't know, 100 of these or more on the channel between the live case breaks and just retail review and everything. But on average, it's about seven. The lowest we've ever had was five, and the highest we ever had, I think, was nine parallels. So typically the average is about seven. And you get three. Three of those right off the bat are going to be these special Halloween-themed parallels. At least I thought it was three. Did we get two in here or three? We'll check it out. All right, here we go. So we have all of our base cards, as usual. There's an Adley Rushman rookie debut card in there. And you get your stars of MLB cards that you just kind of have to put up with. There's Miguel Vargas right there. I'm not a big fan of those. Gunnar Henderson, rookie debut. Shane Bieber and Dansby Swanson. No parallels yet until now. Rich Hill is going to be the first one. That's one of those Halloween parallels. The ones with the lines in the background like that are one in every three packs. That's just kind of like a common parallel. Still nice. That might be a nice set to put together. Hey, nice one here. Gabe. Uh, Gabe I always want to call him Gaby. Gabriel Moreno right here. I'm getting, being distracted too. There's a fly in this light right above my head. I hope it doesn't show up on the uh, the audio. But Gabriel Moreno, Gabby Moreno right there is the first parallel. That's a nice one. And Aaron Hicks with the pumpkins. So the pumpkins are a pretty nice one. It's in one of those jack-o'-lantern rare parallels. We'll take that one. So already at three, halfway through the box. And let's see if we can find some more parallels. There's a Hunter Green. It's going to be a star of MLB. And we have Christian Bethencourt. This will be numbered as well out of 999, up to four. And here's another one. It's going to be Ryan Walker. There's five. And it looks like it's five in that box. So that equals our lowest output of the, you know, of all the hanger boxes. Five is typically the lowest. It's still pretty decent. Five parallel cards in a box. Here's our final one of this video. And thanks for joining us, everybody. Hope you're all having a very pleasant Sunday. I hope you can check us out live tonight we have a live auction so come on by and bid on some cards we'll have some of my cards we'll have and i think two consignments as well two kind of smaller consignments maybe we'll just do them both tonight so there should be a nice variety of stuff if you'd like to stop on by and bid on some stuff maybe win some stuff and then tomorrow it's mystery box monday and look at this we have a pretty rare one right there I've, i see the ghosts in the background that's pretty rare ghosts are nice um, ultra rare inserts. I think they're one in 96 packs for Mizzy. So there's a ghost parallel coming up in this one. Let's see what we can hit in this final box of the Walmart video. All together here, I think I spent about $230 on all these boxes after tax. You got Brett Beatty and Brett Beatty again, a couple Beatty inserts. And the first parallel is going to be Ledmi's Diaz, Gabriel Moreno and his. Blue Jays uniform, rookie debut card right there. I think they actually take those pictures and the rookie debut cards actually on their debut. And it's going to get real interesting in about a week or so when Topps Chrome Update comes out and we start having the actual patches that these players wore during their rookie debuts in that set. And I, it's going to be fantastic if you can find them. They're one of ones. And hey, look at this. We have a case hit Randy Rosarena home field advantage card right there. Very nice. Zach Eflin as well. We'll get that one sleeved up. And another parallel, it's Eddie Julian, rookie card. So three parallels plus a case hit. This box was well worth it. And I'll tell you what, these Topps Update Blasters, a lot of times will at least get, come pretty close to giving your money back, which is pretty nice with all the parallels and all the rookies as well. There's Brandon Fought right there. Very nice one, royal blue. And there's that ghost card, the ultra rare Alec Burleson with the ghost on it. Taking us to five parallels in that one as well with a case hit of Randy Rosarena. So there you have it, folks.
Uh, overall, pretty decent video for Walmart. That's what was new on the shelves at Walmart this week. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you can check us out live tonight. We do our live auction. And if not, we will be back tomorrow, Monday, for Mystery Box Monday. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your Sunday. And I'll see you on the live stream tonight. Good night, everybody.